now that we have our reload animations, we're going to set up our weapon so that it actually performs it. Now this is going to be for the weapon only at the moment. In the next video, we're going to set it up to where the character actually performs it as well. So they reload, well, they reload correctly. It's not just the weapon magically doing stuff. So inside of Visual Studio, we have our weapon base. And we have this reload function that we made. When that's called, we want to perform one of these animations. So I want to copy and paste the animation and call it emergency reload animation. And set it as a null pointer in the constructor. Then we're going to check. So if emergency reload animation. We're going to play animation, and the animation we're going to play is the emergency reload animation. Now this will make it play it for just the entire time, no matter what. But if we have a couple, little bit of ammo left, we don't want to. We want to keep the the uh, partially filled mag. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that and set it down at the bottom. So what we're going to do is if ammo left. It's less than or equal to zero, even though it shouldn't go under zero, there's no real way. I just thought of. So if it's less than or equal to zero, and emergency reload, we're going to perform an emergency reload. Else, well, else if ammo left is greater than zero. Perform normal reload, I guess. I don't really not gonna worry about the names. So I'm gonna go ahead and compile. Then we're gonna open up our weapon blueprint and set that animation in there once it appears. Alright. We have our nineteen eleven emergency reload. Compile save. And when we go to test it, all right, I cannot aim or recompile. I don't know why it keeps happening. There we go. So I press R, nothing happens. I run the weapon dry, press R. Pretty sure it happened, but oh, yeah, it did. So it was reloading. So run the weapon dry, press R, then F8. We can see the magazine getting inserted and the slide dropping as it's supposed to. Now we just need to set it up for the arms to work. So I'm going to do it one more time. 